Well, Paul Nuttall, the party chairman and North West MEP, is here in the studio with us. Oh, no. And I suppose the, the key question is, are you going to stand as leader when Nigel Farage stands down? Well, I've been asked by quite a lot of people whether I'm going to be stand, uh, stand as leader. I've decided against it for a couple of reasons. Well, We're because, surprised Well, here. But most people will be surprised, <laughs> but... Uh, but, you know, last time in the North West at the European elections, we were only 1,200 votes short of taking that second seat. And I've made it my aim for the next five years to campaign here in the North West to ensure that we take that second seat. So which second seat are you going for? Well, uh, sorry, which, which uh, uh, seat, apart from the one that Nigel Farage is going for? Are you going for well, well, I'm talking about the European elections. We are 1,200 uh, votes short of taking that second seat, and I will ensure that next time we just don't have one MEP in okay, the North West. Okay, but let's we have talk to. about why you're yeah. not standing as leader, and, and is that because you're targeting Westminster? Well, well, absolutely. I'll be targeting Westminster just like Nigel. I'll be standing in Bootle, where I took 38% last year in local elections. Mm. It's a key seat for UKIP, and we can it's win. It's a key we, seat, yes. but it's pretty impenetrable, isn't it? I mean, at the last election, the yes. Labour had 75%. You got... Yeah. You stood and had four percent. Yes, but it's th things have changed in the past four years. You know, that as much? things are, well, absolutely. As I say, last year I took thirty-eight percent in the local elections. I'm a local guy. Everybody knows me. I'm the MEP with the profile now. And let's make it clear, you know, if we want to get out of the European Union and if UKIP wants to achieve its goals, then we have to do it through Westminster. And that's why okay. I will be going all out to campaign. And OK, well, um, your profile has been somewhat lifted recently with, with recent events, particularly talking about the Treasurer, who, as we said, resigned her post as Treasurer. Uh, let's just have a look, first of all, about what she's been saying. Fundamentally, I think that the party needs people who are more mature, who have a professional background, both organizational, business, and even some touch of political, to help us organize this uh, party that now has to grow into another layer. And uh, the vision of the chairman seems to be that uh, this is not so important to have people who have experience and background. Well, that's a direct jab at you. Well, let's make it clear, you know, Marta and I had a disagreement about a staffing issue. You know, Marta will continue as an MEP, but what the party needs to do now is to be mature and professional, and let's keep these tiffs in-house. But a lot of tension. Well, no, there's no tension between Martha and I. We will continue to work as MEPs alongside each other. And don't forget, busting fraud in the European Union is a full-time job, and that's what Marta will be doing on behalf of the British people. OK, and the future for you, Kip? Well, the future for UKIP is looking bright. I mean, we will put up more candidates than ever before in the general election next year. We'll be targeting key seats okay. throughout the country. Nigel could well end up, Nigel Farage okay. could end up in Buckingham, and I could end up representing well, Buckingham as well. we shall see. Paul Nuttall, thank you very much. And that's all we've got time for here in the North West. As ever, please contact us via our website, bbc.co.uk slash politics show.